Praise God, praise God, praise the Lord. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Praise God, glory be to God. I know that so, oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Dr. Heather Francis for coming on. Praise God, God bless you, woman of God. Uh, thank you, thank you, Patrick, Pastor Scott. Oh my God, I'm on with your good friend, Minister Philip O'Connor. Praise the Lord from the Triple C. Praise God. I know Carol used to work there. God bless you, Naticia. Oh, the Lord. I uh, got you. God bless you, Patriano Waldron out there in Grand Cayman. God bless all of you. Just want you to go ahead and start sharing with all your friends. You know, I'm coming live out of the UK. I'm just stopping by a few minutes to share with um, a good friend of ours over the years. God bless you, Dabisha. God bless you. I know you're going to be sharing. Praise the Lord. So many inboxes were coming in. Praise God. Saying, Bishop, when are you coming on? We miss you. Praise the Lord. But you know, traveling and everything. I just want to thank God for all of you. Thank you for your likes and your loves. You know, mm, you know, I love you all very much. Praise the Lord. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for your comments. Thank you so much. As I said before, I am here, praise God, in um, the UK. Glory be to God with um, uh, my good friend, praise God, Minister uh, Philip O'Connor. And we're going to be hearing from him in a few minutes. God bless you, Bishop Leroy. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. I just want to say, you know, we want to give God thanks. You know, Minister Philip, we want to give God thanks. And you can just, we just got flow with yes, it. Indeed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Maybe you just want to say greetings to everyone. You can just look on the camera right there and just bring greetings and lean forward. Just relax and just do it. Praise the Lord. Yes. yes. Well, first of all, just want to welcome you to the UK. Yes. Bishop thank Fagan. you. It's yes. an absolute honor to, yes. to have you here with us. And yes. hope you had a good flight and yes. getting over the jet lag and all of that. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, wonderful. But all in all, we are just so privileged and blessed to have you. We have, we have been back so far in the Cayman Islands. And I, it's just a joy to have you, really. Yes, we have Bishop Leroy, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Praise mm -hmm. God. God bless you, Pastor Delavira. God bless you, Morna. And if I've missed some of you because it's going so fast, praise God. I just want to say it's not, it's not intentional. Praise the Lord. Go ahead. You know what to do. Send up your loves, your likes. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Um, this is a test run. Praise God for me here in the UK with the internet and everything. And I just want to give God thanks. God bless you, Lord. We're taking a few minutes just to allow some more to come on. We know there are many out there in the public domain that will be coming on and viewing. Praise the Lord. We just want to give God thanks. Ah, uh, Minister... Uh, Philip, I just want to ask you to breathe just a short word of prayer, you know, as persons are coming on. We just want to give God thanks for this opportunity. Indeed. Yes, indeed. praise the Lord. You can paint your hands. Heavenly Father, we want to give you thanks for this glorious Hallelujah. opportunity just to reach out to our brethren, our friends, our loved ones. Praise God. Across the internet, we thank you for this tremendous opportunity. Lord, to do so. And we ask that right now you'll bless this word unto their hearts. We pray that this time of fellowship will bring healing and deliverance and the power and anointing Hallelujah. to each one. Whatever their situation may be, we pray that they will find courage and encouragement Hallelujah. at this time in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you, Brother Steve. God bless you, Anne Marie. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead and share it. Praise God. We're just going to be on for a short time. God bless you. That's right, Bishop Leroy, you know, my technician, he's there <laughs> monitoring along with Sister Runa, our minister's wife. Praise the Lord. Um, they're there uh, monitoring and inviting and sharing. Praise the Lord. You know, um, it's it, we've come a long way. Indeed, um, very long indeed. Um, minister, we have come a long <laughs> way. Me and uh, you and Sister Rona. Yes. And, you know, she found us on Facebook. You know, I, I always say, praise God, whatever you're going to do, praise God, do it well. Do it well. The reason for this connection of almost over, well, it's over 25 well, over years. 25 years over yes. 25 years. Mm -hmm. God brought us back together. Praise the Lord. Over 25 years, we yes. lost connections mm. because of phone changes yes. and different things. And you guys moving from the Cayman Islands. And, you know, because of Facebook, you mm. know, why some people might say Facebook is this and Facebook is that. Facebook mm. has its good 
and this is one of them you know um, you know and because of your wife searching diligently for us too along with brother Claude Bailey I know he's gonna be watching brother Claude brother Claude Bailey yeah he's coming on yeah in fact brother Claude we're just watching your video yes from 1999 1999 Hallelujah Christ is King and what an amazing time of course we're watching you with the gospel soul seekers gospel soul seekers and those were amazing times in the Lord and um, came and what happy members yes yes Absolutely. and um, you know before we go into the word our minister is gonna be sharing with God bless you sister Rona uh, O'Connor the wife of minister O'Connor praise the Lord before we get into the word because I know you're gonna encourage someone you mm. have grown tremendously for mm, them thank you I, I mean <laughs> I know that you were with the Church of God there with Pastor Rose and Sister yes. Rose yes. for many many years many years, years mm. up there in Borden town mm. and um, um, to see where you and Sister Rona have grown. I am so proud of you. I am so impressed. And you know, one of the good things to uh, Minister Philip is mm -hmm. that we must live a life uh, because you never know who is, whose life you're impacted. Because mm -hmm. look at us, me and my husband, mm -hmm. when you can sit down and watch videos from 1999. 1999 yes, yes. And you knew us long before that. Yes. Yes. But you could still enjoy you and your wife sitting down watching us on video. We were younger then. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I, know, I, I think I look better now than I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but brethren, come on. I need some of you to comment. That's why we must not play church. Uh, That's why we must not play church. God bless you, Pat. We were so happy to see you the other day. Praise God in the rest of you. Look, it's so beautiful. We love you, girl. Praise God. That's why we must live this Christian life mm -hmm. and, and not pretend. Because you don't know whose life you're impacting. Indeed. indeed. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's like we, it's like if they had given you and Rona a goal, it would not have done for how you uh, feel for having us. You know, here, just, just... It is an absolute joy. And as you have correctly said, we go such a far way back. And in the Cayman Islands, the powerful ministry that you yes, had there of Vision you. Church. And of course, the Gospel Soul Seekers, I mean, it's just amazing. The ministry... Yeah, with Bishop Leroy, Fagan and Bishop the crew, Le and Brother yes. Neville. And we must recognize and, and honor, you know, um, Claude Bailey, because you have been the mastermind behind this. And it's just absolutely fantastic what you have done. You know, the concerts you have put together and also to have the vision to record these. Yes, and yes. To, to, to see the, the, the brethren at, at um, Bodden Town in different districts across the country just rejoicing in such a tremendous yes, way. Yes, 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 it, yes, yes. It, it's absolutely and, and And what I'm so happy for mm. is to see that mm. despite all of these years we didn't mm. see each other over 25 years yes. you know <laughs> the the kindred spirit indeed and mm. and, 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 mm. and 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 our christian faith yes you know our, our belief system praise mm. god come on somebody yes. our belief system our core belief mm. in the lord jesus christ our values our yes. morals our faith praise has not changed no there's a lot of people that when they travel when they travel to other places, you know, they mm. water down or they change yes. and, 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 and they forget about their solid foundation. Mm. Somebody need to be praising the Lord. Yes. You know, you, they forget about their solid foundation. But I'm amazed to see how, how you and Sister Rona have kept the faith and to mm. see you ministering in so many churches and to know that we have also been an inspiration in Indeed. your lives. We appreciate that so much. And one thing we have to do is to strike that oh, that please. balance between methods and ministry. Yes, and well, realize talk that to they, someone there. The word doesn't God change. God bless you, Pastor Dickinson. The word doesn't change. And of course, Cynthia. the method of ministry may change. But at the same time, as we move away from the Caribbean and we they can come up a little closer leave even to the, say, yeah. the first world countries, yes. where we have more of a multicultural, plural, and a more liberal and secular society, and to hold your faith yes. in these Oh, context. that's a challenge right there. Indeed, yes. That's a challenge Indeed. right there. And to use wisdom to know how to minister in these societies where yes. Christianity may not necessarily be the only or wow. the main religion. Yes. It's so much religions, right? With so many, yes. Yes. So, and, so it does And especially here wisdom. in the UK, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. learning that there is this great... Um, you know, there's so much mm, diversity, diversity with, 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 with ministry and there's so much religions mm, yes. that if you are not grounded mm. 
if you are not grounded. Mm. You see, the days of just attending church is not. No, it, now, not you better know that you have mm -hmm. a, a personal relationship That's with word. God. Yes. You better know that you have that personal mm. relationship, not a not a denominational or no. traditional relationship. No. But you know you have a personal mm. relationship with God yourself and with mm. Jesus yourself. What Indeed. you have to say about that? Because somebody might be on as a young convert. Yes. And somebody might be on and they might have backslidden. Mm -hmm. They might have fallen along the way and they might say, yeah, but um, Jesus, all these years, mm. they have not seen each other. Over 25 years, Bishop and, and Minister Philip, them have not seen. And, and, and you know, it's the same solidness. Yes. Yes. For, you know? Because it's Christ. Yeah. It is Christ. But you use a very important word there, and it's the word relationship. Because what sometimes we do tend to mix up the word religion with relationship. I love that. You see? Wow, wow. But that's powerful right yes, there. Indeed, because for us Christianity is not just about a religion, but it's about your personal faith and your personal relationship with Christ. Yes. And that can be born out of a deep conviction. Amen. Out of your personal experience and your personal walk with Christ. And that's something that we all need. Like I was speaking Sunday on the, the blind man, the man born blind. And we we're talking about the whole experience of how he was healed by Jesus Christ and the Pharisees and how they took him back to mm -hmm. Christ and the interrogation and you know this the, the, the scrutiny and yes. and all of that. Who who healed you? Why he healed you? How did he yes, heal well? yes. and all of that. And, yes. You know he said something they were they were, so they were they were they were they were so they were so crazy about yes. trying to bring down this miracle that they even went to his parents. They called his parents and it's again it, because yeah. it was done on the Sabbath. So here comes this thing about tradition again. Because, and religion. And religion and tradition. And the Bible says that the tradition make the word of none effect. And in some places, Jesus went, he could do no mighty work because of unbelief wow. and tradition. Yeah. You see, but I like what the blind man said, that out of everything that happened, he said, one thing I do, I know. I don't know where this man come from. I don't but know, I know who, blind. but one thing. <laughs> and now I can one, see I it. was blind, but now Praise I can see God. It. That's Hallelujah. Thing. I was blind. God bless you, Minister Carroll. Yeah. Yes. Um, God bless you, Sister Paulette, mm. Sister Cheryl. Oh, my God. You know, I, I really, really want to thank God for you. Yes. As I said, I'm here in the UK and I'm um, just taking a few minutes to, to rap with um, a longtime friend, mm. um, the minister, now minister and going on to in a few weeks, few months, he'll be, or, um, you know, Dr. Philip O'Connor. Somebody can send up some love. This man has come here. You know, sometimes people mm -hmm. um, travel to a faraway country. Mm -hmm. But you were born here, right? I was born and, here. And um, you Berlin. left um, as a little child. As a little child to Jamaica. Spent some time then taught in Jamaica for a number of years. And yeah, because you're a teacher. Yes, by Yeah, profession. what kind of teacher? I mean, what do you teach? What's your um, specialty? Sociology, sociology. Advanced level sociology and a um, subject called personal social health education. In America, they call it health education. Wow. So it's really life skills. Yes. So I see it as an opportunity to continue. The, to minister yes, too. Yes. Because oh. I remember in the Cayman Islands, I was teaching full-time, but all, I was also a youth pastor. Yes, for the Church of God. For the there. Church of God. So yes. coming here and have that opportunity mm -hmm. to write a curriculum for young people. Oh my to God. To me, it is an opportunity wow. and an extension of youth work. Yes. You know what it's I amazing. like? What I like too? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. You you back then was a youth minister, mm. and um, you try to run from that. You, 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 you shun it. <laughs> Whereas nowadays, People are just, people are not willing to be groomed. Yes. People are not willing to be discipled. Mm -hmm. You got, you got people, I mean, you know where I'm coming from. <laughs> you know, remember we were on ICCI radio. Yeah, we were on the radio. You yes. were on for four hours. I was on four hours. And I was on for four hours every Sunday evening, Is four it? till wow. six. Is it? Yes. Yeah, I was ICCI. You was ICCI. I was ICCI FM Saturday, 10 till 2. And I was on ICCI Sundays, four till six, okay. and on Radio K Band. So we yeah. are coming from so Far. I can remember when first being on the radio, it was um, Pastor Gager from mm. the Open Bible. I must tell you, brethren, how sometimes God can use a person to sow a seed into your life, mm. even when you don't see it. Glory to God. Mm. Somebody want to praise God. I'm encouraging someone right now. Mm. Even when you don't see it. I mean, since I've come here, I've been speaking into you. Yes. 
Because when you're, when you're, when you feel like you're not even ready to do something. I remember even saying this to you before I came to you. That when I come, mm. I'm going to get you on Facebook and oh. do an interview, remember? Oh and, and even today, <laughs> you was reluctant. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, you, you have something mm. that people need. We all, all of you on here, every one of you, good evening, God bless you. Every one of you, praise God. Good evening. Tell me where you're from. Just go ahead and say where you're watching from. UK, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Canada, USA, mm -hmm. other Caribbean islands, wherever. We just want to see the diversity. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And don't forget to share. Praise God. You know, sometimes we sit down and we believe that if it's not a pla if it's not a pulpit, mm -hmm. um, people will believe it's not because it's not a pulpit you know, holding a microphone, that mm -hmm. they are not called to, to, mm -hmm. to, to, to spread this gospel. That's one aspect of you, it. You, 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 you understand? Mm -hmm. But I am here to encourage, God has graced me with that ministry of, of reconciliation and exhortation. Indeed. You mm -hmm. know, because we're here to uplift. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Some of you are watching me. Praise the Lord. Somebody want to be rejoiced because this word is coming to you. You know, there's something embedded in your spirit. There's a word inside of you. Praise God. You don't have to wait until nobody um, recognizes you or applauds you. No. You start right where you are with what you have. Indeed. What you want to say to someone. Yes, you know, mm -hmm. Because, I mean, it's using what you have. The question is, what is in your hands? And sometimes ah. you may want to look down on yourself and belittle yourself. Come on now. That's but what I'm talking about. We indeed. want to encourage someone. Right. But it is what is in your hand. What is in your hands? What has the Lord given to you that you can use? And you never can tell the impact that you're having on one person. My God. This is You powerful. never can tell. So, you know, you go ahead and in your own small way, the Lord has given you a talent. Don't worry about that. Speak to one somebody, talent, yes? minister. You, Speak to yes, someone. Yes. <laughs> You don't worry about this uh, one talent or, you know, undermining yourself or feeling wow. uh, inadequate or any such thing. You just ask the Lord to use that one talent and to multiply it back onto you and to bring glory unto himself. Him. Yes, Praise to bring God. glory. And to God. inspire So in other words, that when you say what's in your hand, mm. it doesn't mean your physical, physical hand, hand yeah. but whatever it is Talents, that drives you. Mm, the passion. Yeah, the that whatever it is that you're passionate mm. about. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Right now, the mm. word is, this is a Rima word. Mm. This is a now word. Yeah. God would send me all the way to the United Kingdom, praise God, to mm. sit with the man of God. Mm. Praise the Lord. Just to encourage somebody on another level. Mm. Praise God. I can remember, praise God, the Lord. Um, Bishop Leroy, you know, he's monitoring things here. You know, he's a behind the scenes, mm. just like Sister Rona. Yes. Praise the Lord. Mm. Uh, I can remember many, many years ago, um, I, 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 I would buy all of these cassettes. We're so technical, like yourself. <laughs> I, know, I would yes. be buying all these gadgets. And I mean, my sitting room was was like some studio. I mean, every time I work, I would just be buying stuff, buying mm. this and buying that. And thank God for the husband I have. That's why you've uh, got to make sure you pray about your partner. <laughs> make sure you pray about your spouse. Indeed. Make sure that it's your Boaz and it's your Ruth. Mm. Come on, somebody. <laughs> I feel like I want to praise God here. Praise the Lord. Because when God connects you, mm. praise God, like mind, I mm. mean, um, with your visions, you share the visions, you share things. Mm. It doesn't mean that, that you're cloned. What yeah. it means that that you will be sharing things in common. Mm -hmm. And I can remember, you know, not one day did Leroy ever say, well, Julie, why you buy this again? Why you buy that again? Mm. He always just slipped things out of the way, made space for me. Yeah. And I remember mm. when the house was so full, with with gadgets, I'm there. Those days it were cassettes. Yes. <laughs> How many of you remember cassettes? We when they would be up. I mean, you would be buying this TDK, and by the time you put it in and you reach so far, oh my God! You remember when you used to record songs and music? You put it in your car. By the time you, oh my God! It destroyed. It gone in videos. You know, we thank God. And I remember. Um, I would get the cassette, and um, one day I was doing something. Every minute I got be saying shh. shh. And Leroy said, I got to do, do you a favor. I'm going to build you something in the back of the yard. Oh, and he went wonderful? around the back <laughs> and he built me a little small studio. And I went up in there and I fixed it up. And I put my equipment there and I would lock up in there. Mm. And I mean, you should hear me DJing. <laughs> you should hear me. I, I mean, I was there like I was a radio. And I remember one day playing that cassette in my car mm. while I was giving someone a lift. 
I used to be so excited to give people a ride in my car because I wanted them to hear this radio personality mm. that it wasn't on no radio. <laughs> Talk about a vision. Indeed, indeed. And this was from the Cayman Islands. This was from in the late 80s, early 90s. Mm -hmm. And I remember when Pastor Gager, Anthony Gager, Oak mm -hmm. Bible, said to me, mm -hmm. he said, Who is, which radio station is that? Wow. Yeah, he came and looked for me and I mean, he said, which radio station is that? Mm -hmm. um, which, which radio station you find that? And I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> and I kept it going. And he said, which radio station is that? And I mm. said, it's round the back in that little house. Oh, no. And he said, he said to me, Amazing. he said something to me. That's why we must sow into mm. other people's lives. Mm. We must prophesy into other people's lives. Indeed, and yeah. he said to me, he said, listen, you need to go to, you need to, go to the international college and do yourself broadcasting. Mm. He said wow. that you understand little then you'll be more professional mm -hmm. and you understand the do's and don'ts of broadcasting Indeed, yes. and he said you'll get some practice in this in the, in the studio because the, the college studio mm -hmm. and i registered and i went ladies and gentlemen mm -hmm. brethren you must invest in yourself indeed indeed yes. one of the biggest problems we have in the body of christ mm -hmm. is people don't want to spend on themselves mm -hmm. you know there's a lot of people spend on nails hair clothes there's a lot of people that don't even have a good study Bible. Talk to me. Not even invested in a good study Bible where you can cross reference and you can mm. understand the word of God better. You understand? And so I want to encourage you all to in, in, invest in mm. your in, in, in yourself spiritually. Mm. You understand? Yes. You know what, what, what you I mean, you're you're now doing um tell me since you have come back, you have achieved, mm. you went on to do your what? Your studies. Yes, well, coming back to the United Kingdom as a British citizen was quite an interesting journey. Yes. And we had to do over qualification. We have to go up to the UK standard from wow. driving to teaching. So we had to do our... That must <laughs> be challenging. It was challenging, readjusting back to the culture, of course. I want you to be so, honest with me now. <laughs> I got to ask you a question, yes. and I want you to be honest because we're all human beings. Yes, yes. At any time when you found out that you had to go through all that, knowing that you were at Triple C, mm. and in the Cayman Islands you were you had a good salary, you and your wife were doing well, she was at the Marriott, supervisor, mm. you had a beautiful home in the Cayman Islands, your cars, and... Um, now you come to the UK mm. and you got to do over all of this stuff, the exams, mm. the this and the that. Mm. I mean, tell me the truth. <laughs> had, had there been any time that you felt, well, oh. Jesus, I feel like I would just pack up and go back home. Oh, let's put I mean, it what I do with that? Oh, the truth is, the truth is, Cayman Islands has been such an absolutely fantastic blessing. Pastor Winston Rose, Marjorie Banks, Triple C, the Brethren, the Friends. You know, it's just absolutely fantastic. And that will remain an indelible part in our lives, a tremendous part and ministry. That will always remain. We just had Pastor Rose and family with us just last year. Okay. So that was wonderful. But coming here, yes, we know we had to readjust, and we were prepared for that. And, of course, coming back here, we know that um, I'm a British citizen, so right. I know that would have at least set the record straight in a number of ways. For example, if I be honest with you here, being in the Caribbean, even though I was born here of Jamaican parents, going to the Caribbean meant that when I worked in the Caribbean, whether Jamaica or the Cayman Islands, I had to be on a work permit. Right. So wherever I work, would, I would have, they would have to take out a one-year work permit renewable. Right. So that makes it a little bit difficult to plan long term. Right. But you right. know, coming back here as a British citizen, but you, you had to just work. you just had to face yes, up to the challenges. Just get on with it and say sometimes you have to stoop to conquer. Yes, it's difficult. But say oh, that again. Sometimes in life we have to stoop to conquer. Say that again. <laughs> Tell somebody that. Some you are not you that profound. Yes. Sometimes in life you, you have, have to, to stoop. stoop to, to conquer. conquer. Wow. And that's exactly what we do. have to do. Humble ourselves, have a humble start. Well, I would say then that me and me leaving all the yes. luxury in the Cayman Islands and going to Jamaica, that mean I had to stoop, stoop to, to conquer. conquer. Yes. You understand? Because yes. I left yes. a building, I mm. left a beautiful edifice, mm. air condition. I mean, Leroy had his office, I had my office, the secretary had her church office, we were just set, mm. and here it is, I leaves and go to Jamaica, and I'm under this little twenty by four to tent, wow. and I mean, the dust is killing me, mm. I'm dust in my mouth, dust in my wow, head, wow, wow. I mean, dust all over me, my foot had looked mm. like, like it had on, it was soaking, I mean, like, it was, wow. like it was soaking flour sometimes, and I mean, mm. going to Jamaica as a missionary, and there were people who said, oh, you sure that that's God? 
you sure God told you to do mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. But look at me today. Yeah. I mean, we're in Jamaica and mm -hmm. um, we're in a rural area mm -hmm. with our with the people. A lot of them don't work. A lot of them don't have it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we being honest, mm -hmm. and we assess who we can. We love the people. Yes. And I wouldn't trade it for nowhere else until God says you Otherwise. leave Jamaica. Yes. Yeah. And oh, somebody need to praise thing. the Lord. I see some. I see some love yes. coming up there. And praise the, the Lord. Same thing. The same thing here. But the important thing one is that you have. We're talking about the relationship. Yeah, that, that have relationship. With so when it goes back to that deep and personal relationship and conviction that you have with Christ. You know within your heart, Hallelujah. within your spirit, that this is of God. Yes. And your motive is right. Right. The motive is right. Yeah. Why are you moving to where you're going? Did you hear from the Lord yeah, exactly. to say, take that step? Yeah. No, because when the times get rough, you ask me about the rough times. Yes. When you have that basic conviction that this is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous yes. in our eyes. Hallelujah. <laughs> I is. love that. Yes. yes. Praise so God. when the hard time comes, the conviction, the personal conviction and faith that we have, that forms the bedrock, that underpins. You're encouraging faith. some people right yes. now. Praise that God. Form, that forms it. Can so we take a that. praise break? Yes. Can we take a praise break and ask all of you to send up your praises yes, now yes. if you are being encouraged mm -hmm. praise the lord yes somebody says it's a pat said mm -hmm. yes you have to stoop to conquer yes. profound word praise the lord hallelujah mm -hmm. if you're wrong just go ahead and send some praises mm -hmm. you know sometimes you know the program come in different ways it's not always about the music i love that god bless you mm -hmm. praise god it's not always about the thunder sometimes it comes this still this comes voice, in us eh? in a still small <laughs> voice mm -hmm. and maybe somebody uh, might have just moved to a country or is on the um, verge of moving somewhere mm. or whether it's a country maybe it is um, you know a new home mm -hmm. or um, a new job you know a school um, you know sometimes even mm. in life separation yes. things happen and you gotta stoop mm. you know you gotta stoop to conquer mm. that that that's the word for somebody Indeed. somebody might be going through something right now it's a powerful word. yeah yeah it's somebody a might word. be going through mm. something right now and mm. they might be saying I, I don't know if I can make it I don't know how long I can mm. go through this thing but um you have um you you have um gone through all of that you and your wife I'm um, coming here she was telling me earlier as I was doing mm. a little interview that um you guys I mean you 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 stock shelves in the supermarket um you know in the beginning yes. because you had your goals yes. you had your dream you had your vision but mm. it was challenging in the yes. beginning and you you did some menial jobs you're a teacher oh, whoa, whoa. a professional teacher <laughs> and a minister of the gospel years. but uh, but what but, but what i'm yeah. looking at yes, though yes. um what i'm looking at you didn't went and start a church <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, let's put it this way. I mean, you didn't, you, you, no, you coming no, from the no, Cayman no. Islands as youth, pastor, yes. preaching somebody. When we watch those videos with you being such a powerful <laughs> MC and, and witnessing to people, and um, uh, you come to the UK, and why is it you didn't just go and get a little place and start a church? You're gonna make a, you, you like what some doing, they say make a lot of money. Why you didn't do that? Let's tell you something. It oh my god, some, I, some went and some were sent. Come on, somebody some praise the Lord for that. Praise God. And Hallelujah. Believe, if you are not sent by God, don't you go anywhere. And my you God. have got to have a personal conviction in your spirit of what the Lord wants for you. And you have to be careful not that your life is not guided by wow. other people. But you have a vision. What did you hear from the Lord for you? So I know Wow, I you have, guys listening? <laughs> been, you better speak louder so wow, they can. Wow, they can hear me. So, I know who I am and I know whose I am, so I don't have to be guided by, by people's, people's opinion. opinion. You see what I'm saying? So, I know in my spirit I have the potential and the opportunity to have ministered to thousands of young people um, over 33 yeah. years in three, four different countries. Right. And I thank God for the opportunity so to do. And yes, I was preaching from I was a teenager in high school. Right. I have a lot of those. Yeah, I heard there. Yeah, about Jamaica yes, and everything. And preaching in America and in the Cayman Islands. And here in the UK, but I'm, you didn't come and start a church. No, 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 I did no such thing because you went through your, you went through your, you went through your thing, and you found a church. Mm. Um, and you you found mm. a church, and you started to worship at yes. that church, and those people took you and Runa yes. under their wings. Indeed. And until this day, mm. because the door is open because of you, I'll be preaching here in the UK because of this man and his <laughs> wife. Well, he has made some tremendous connections. Uh -huh. Guess what? You know, because he didn't come. 
the Lord didn't tell him no. to come and start it. Now no. that doesn't mean that one day it won't happen, but the Lord will yes. reveal it to you. Yes. Praise and until Lord. that is so, you sit tight. And you and allow the wait. Lord to yes, lead you. Because at the moment I do serve as lay preacher in about seven churches. And I'm quite happy. Oh my God. So whenever pastors are away. You fill in. I fill in. Whenever wow, look at that, brethren. Is this encouraging anyone? Whenever they call my me. God. I'm happy to fill in. I do youth conferences and youth seminars. So I'm still minister and I'm still teaching nearly 600 young people every 10 days. Say how much? Nearly six hundred young people. Passed but now you know if that was the average person that had six, six that had sixty young people, they were a church would have started. No, 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 no. So you know, I I admire you, I minister. Thank you, I thank you. Humble yourself and let the Lord work and use you in whatever sphere. Wow. With, bloom See, where you're planted. Somebody said I'm being encouraged. Bloom where you're planted. You'll be the best. As, My God. Oh, bloom where you're planted. Hallelujah. And humble yourself. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's one of the things that we were talking earlier and you said that you admired about me and Mm. even Bishop Mm. Leroy, you know, where we're coming from. You know where we're coming Mm. from. When you even look at that video, when I look at that video and see, Mm. I said, that was me? (laughs) Jesus, have mercy. It was way back. Yeah, that was me, way back. Mm. And you didn't run off and start a church, minister. You, you, And until this day... You are ministering in so many churches. Mm. You are the assistant to so many pastors as a lay mm-hmm. preacher. Yes, as a lay and preacher. and the Lord, you said, the, you know, so mm. so it just amazes mm. me sometimes that when I see people don't want to sit under the apostle, mm. don't want to sit under their bishop, under no one. They get saved today. They 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 they, they, they somebody they, they mm. give them an opportunity. They mm. hold a mic. And then, then somebody clap them a couple of times, right. and then they, they believe that they gotta mm. go start no. a church, you know. And, 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 right. and, and you know, it, it could be the will of God, but mm. sometimes the timing, the timing is not right. You yes. understand? I can remember, as you know, mm. I can remember long before I started pastoring, uh, people used to address me as evangelist. Mm. Nobody laid hands on me. Nobody appointed me. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't get no pulpit to preach on. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, and I say something, when people started addressing me as evangelist figure because mm-hmm. of the gift. Yes. Remember the word of God lets us know that your gift Makes will room. make room for you. Indeed, yes. And mm-hmm. because of the gift mm-hmm. of being on Radio ICCI, mm-hmm. volunteering. For so many years. We forgot to I mention did, Yeah, that. we forget. We volunteered for four hours. Yes. yes. And I did that for years. Mm-hmm. This generation of, of, mm. of people in the church, mm. they don't want to volunteer. No, 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 no. I mean, we volunteered on Radio ICC. Mm. Thank you all for your, oh mm. my God, praise the Lord. God bless you, Deaconess. <laughs> Deaconess Amarel Powell. Praise God. You know, the mighty woman of God. Yes. Great pastoral care, Amarel Powell. Praise God. And guess what? I got to big her up. Praise God. That's like, for my put my foot in Jamaica, mm. Deaconess Amarel Power has been taking care of me and Pastor. Every Sunday, religiously, oh, that she... woman cooks. Wow. And they I serves us. That. Praise God. Oh, that. you heard about yes, it? Deaconess yes. Amarel Power, she just went on there. And that is like 14 years. That's amazing. Her husband mm. said to her, God has sent Bishop to Jamaica. Mm. And God has allowed her, use her, that our household can be saved. And he said, listen, God said, until she leaves Jamaica, mm. we are to take care of her pastor, pastoral wow. care. Every Sunday, unless we are not there, this lady cooks two, 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 two meats yes. or wh- whatever we want. Mm. And she serves that, puts them in their little parcel. So what God calls for, he provides for. Mm. Somebody want to praise God. Hallelujah. We got some ministers on. Mm. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes, deaconess. Mm. Yes, bishop. So true. Praise God. We got some uh, some ministers mm. on. We got people that are on that might be discouraged Mm. and nobody's recognizing them. I can remember, as I wanted to say, minister, Mm. I can remember when people started addressing me as evangelist Fagan. Mm. Here it was. Nobody laid hands on me. Nobody anointed me with olive oil. Mm. I am um, nobody didn't have me kneel down at an altar and confer evangelist yes. on me. Mm-hmm. But the people yes. saw me doing the work yes. of an evangelist. Mm-hmm. People were getting saved 
on Radio ICCI. I mean, people were crying. You could hear them wow. over the phone lines on Sunday evening. Mm -hmm. Remember, they could call mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. live. Yes. And people were giving back their hearts to the Lord in the Cayman Islands. Wow. And it was just a mighty wave, a move of God mm -hmm. in the Cayman Islands while I was mm -hmm. on the radio. Mm -hmm. and Awful. Yeah, Awful and then, and, and, and what I'm saying is that after people started addressing me as evangelist Fagan, mm -hmm. it's like I got, I, I was resented. You know, mm -hmm. I was pushed aside because there it was now. People is addressing me <laughs> as mm -hmm. Evangelist Fagan and nobody didn't anoint her, nobody didn't appoint mm -hmm. But God sent me. Yes. God sent Bishop Anthony Gager who prophesied into my mm -hmm. life and said, listen, you have the voice for radio personality, wow. television person. It is natural. Speak just go word. and mm. just go and build on it. Mm -hmm. Just go and build on it mm -hmm. and, and learn the cons and pros and the do's and don'ts of broadcasting. What's coming out of that, um, Bishop, is mm. the power the of, God of the spoken word. Yeah. The power of the spoken word. And one thing we have to realize is that power to, to prophesy and to speak things into people's lives because life and death in the power of the tongue yes, and yes. I really appreciate that word that was spoken over your life and the impact that you now have yes, on yes. the lives of so many you know as we watch the video downstairs a while ago we were just watching, watching this old VHS from 1999 and looking at some of the images of um, the concert Hallelujah Christ is King thanks brother Claude Bailey once again for recording them then and we are still benefiting from them. But just to see the ministry and the work, how far we are coming from, and the sincerity and the passion, yes, yes. and to see, as you correctly said, that all these work that we have done was just out of the love of God. Love our God for, uh, for people. You understand me? Yes. Because I always tell people, stick up in, I always tell yes. people, mm -hmm. you can't minister to people if mm -hmm. you don't like people. True, true. You gotta love people. Yeah, you gotta purpose. be a people's person. Mm. Yes, there are some mm. things we don't like and we don't agree with, and mm. sometimes we might even take our mouth and say what we shouldn't say. Mm. You know, we, because we're human beings. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, mm. we still gotta pray for the lost at Indeed. any cost. Yes, you know, yes. you understand? Yes. Mm. So how is Jamaica for you then? How is oh, the Jamaica, it's going good. Faith. It's going You've good. Praise the faith. Lord. By faith, yes, yes. yes. How, how is the work there now? Yeah, it's going good. We mm. thank God. And mm. I just want to encourage all of you mm. out there. Praise mm. the Lord. You know, all the apostles, all the evangelists, all the pastors, prophets and mm. prophetesses and deacons and deaconesses, ministers. But most of all, I would put everything in a little box and I would say, I just want to say mm. greetings, greetings to all of you mm. ministers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because yes. once you're born again, you're a minister unto the mm. Lord. Can somebody praise the yes, Lord? Indeed, once indeed. you're born again, you're a minister unto the Lord. You don't need a title you understand? to do that. You don't need no. a title to live mm. a godly life and be pleasing in people's sight. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people mm -hmm. would go to church. They would want to go to church, you know, but the lifestyle they see, what we would say, some Christians, so-called Christians, live in mm. the lifestyle, the behavior of some people that say they're Christians, mm. you know, knocking down church doors on the morning or Saturday or mm. Sabbath or whatever it is. Mm. And then the rest of the week, mm. they're, they're, they're telling off people. No. They have no love. They, mm. they, 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 they don't conduct themselves right. They don't try to adorn themselves properly as a Christ in Christ likeness. Mm. You understand? I'm not talking about us just looking at clothes or anything. You know yeah. what I mean. Indeed, yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. And 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 you find that that we are living in a season now that the, 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 the that I hear the spirit of the Lord calling the church to a higher level. Mm -hmm. Come on, talk to me. Mm -hmm. the, the spirit of the Lord is calling us to come up higher mm -hmm. now because the level that we were on, the level that we have been on for the last couple of years, the last couple of weeks, even the last couple of hours, mm -hmm. the, the level that the, the, the playing field that we were on and we have been on for so long, mm -hmm. That playing field is vanishing. Mm -hmm. So we gotta we gotta make sure that we don't mm -hmm. vanish with it. Yes. So we gotta make sure that we come up higher. Mm -hmm. That's why I say to people all the time, you know, technology, that's what I was saying to you. Mm -hmm. Years ago, we were we, all we had was if we had an open air service, and who came to that open air service was mm -hmm. the ones who heard, heard. that sermon. Mm -hmm. You understand, was the one who got that message. Not so you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, if you got it on a cassette or thing back then, and it could share, but it still didn't reach much. No. Today, where technology is and how God mm. has put social media mm -hmm. and platforms before us, mm -hmm. it behooves every man of God, 
every woman of God, every child of God, mm -hmm. it behooves them to use technology, yes. use it while it is day. Yes. For the night is Great. coming, yes. oh when glory no to God. The night is coming when darkness is going to mm. hit this earth. No man can And work. no yes. man can no do man any can work. work. And mm. you know, you're still wishing that mm. you did. Yes. If it's even five minutes, mm -hmm. give God your time. Indeed. You understand? Indeed. Mm. Because what we are doing here now, mm. it's not just those that you see on the, on the screen. Mm. There's going to be many, many more that will be viewing this who is not on my page, Facebook page, mm. that will be blessed and encouraged. Indeed. I do believe in my heart mm. that while, yes, mm -hmm. lawlessness is on the increase and while it seems as if people don't want the Lord, I do believe in my spirit that mm. people want the Lord. People are searching, but I do believe that the church must come up to a higher level. Indeed, indeed. And part of that search also is why people turn to so many things. Yeah, because it is and all that, these religions and stuff. Yes, because it's that inner search for meaning Yeah. to life. And as we were saying with the story with the blind man, when he was being interrogated and scrutinized and judged and criticized and eventually ostracized and thrown out of the temple, you know, who is this man that healed you? What did he do? Where does he come from? Yes. And one of the things that we tend to do, especially in this hallelujah, liberal hallelujah. and secular society, is to ask so many questions yeah. <clears throat> excuse me, about your faith. Yeah. And certainly there will be some complex issues which we cannot handle. Right. For example, the origin of the world and the earth yes, and yes. the age of the earth. And, and it's not going to profit us it's not profit to, be argue, to, to, to be arguing over these things. You see things. what I'm saying? And I appreciate what the blind man said. He said, huh, I, I don't, don't know. know where this man I don't from. know. And that's very powerful. I like that. I cannot In answer other, those yeah, questions. Yeah, I can't explain everything. I can't explain everything. Why is that situation happening in your life? I don't know. Why are you trying yes, this? I don't someone, know. Yes. yes, I'm talking to you now. God bless you, yes. Pastor Otis. That's my yes. God right there. Indeed. Welcome. Yes, the Lord. Welcome. Why, why, why is my child sick? Yes. Why is there evil in the world? Mm. Mm? Mm -hmm. Why was this financial reversal? Why did my business I fail? I lost my house. Why, why did I lose my house oh, or any such thing? Some things we don't know, and some things on this side of eternity we may not be sure of. But one thing we know, one thing I know, yes, and w there must be a core in yes. our life that central core of yes. faith yes. and relationship not religion, not tradition, yeah. but a Because, as you rightly say, even being as you rightly say, even being here mm -hmm. in, the, in the UK, mm -hmm. and whether it's the UK, <coughs> the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, mm -hmm. United States, Canada, wherever it is, mm -hmm. it's pretty much the same. You understand? People, there's a lot of people who um, attend in church. Yes. They attend the church, mm -hmm. but they did not get, have a personal relationship with yes. Jesus. Yes. Because when you have a personal relationship with Jesus, no storm clouds. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, when you are grounded the right way in, you mm -hmm. know your God. The hotter the battle. Sweeter the the sweeter the victory. Because mm -hmm. you know, God bless you, Pastor mm -hmm. Ezekiel Thompson. Praise the Lord. You know, you know your God. Mm -hmm. And so when I see over 25 years mm -hmm. and we could reconnect in this fashion that I could be interviewing you and we could be rapping wow, like this. Wow, wow. And I see the core values. I see mm, I see your faith has grown. Mm -hmm. I see you have grown. Mm -hmm. um, it brings great joy to me to, to, to see that we mm -hmm. are coming from way over yonder as, you, back, as, as young mm -hmm. Christians Indeed. Yes. in the faith. Mm -hmm. You know, we could have given up. True. You could have given up. Mm -hmm. You could have come here and with all of the academia. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the next few months, you finish your, um, tell us your doctorate in what? Theology um, and Christianity, what? education and faith. Right, yes. Mm -hmm. So theology and a whole, the whole mm -hmm. system. With education. System yes. and education. Mm -hmm. Wow, I want to say in advance, congratulations. <laughs> next couple of months, you'll be, oh, yes. thank you. And I mean, you have earned that. You have worked for that. You have... You have poured out for that. You mm. understand? But but after you have achieved so much, Minister mm. O'Connor, it, it didn't change you. Well. <laughs> I like that. It didn't change you. I mean, people look at me and, 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 and Bishop Leroy sometimes, mm. and then some of them would say, Jesus, looking at Bishop and Pastor, you know, they're blessed. Mm. You know, they're driving the best. They're living the best. They, 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 their children are, you know. Um, no family is perfect. We mm. have our little ups and downs too. Indeed, but, yes. but to the average person, mm. um, you know, mm. they're blessed. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But what people do realize 
we have gone through wow. and still go through it goes back the to challenges. The, goes but what you say, just now, you got to yes. stoop, stoop to, conquer. to conquer. Did you hear that? Stoop you to got conquer. to sometimes stoop to conquer. And just pay the price because this too came to pass and it came to pass. Didn't come to stay. It's right. a temporary, transitory situation. So whatever you are going through, wow. it may not last forever. It will yeah. not. No, it will not. It come to pass. So sometimes we bear off. Or I, I bet you now stick up in because yes. we keep saying it come to pass. Yes. But now you just said that it come it it come to you. Yes. Because it have to pass through. Yes. It have, it's on it's on its way. Yes. It's going somewhere. It's going somewhere. Mm -hmm. I touch river. Uh, that, that's the phone right there. It come. <laughs> To, to pass. pass. It's not you are getting that? Yeah. It come to, to pass. pass. So mm -hmm. it, it, it passed in your way. Mm -hmm. So it's not there to mm -hmm. stay. Mm -hmm. The hard wow. time, that situation you're going through mm -hmm. right now, it, 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 it's temporary. Depending on what it is, of course, we understand some yeah, situation. Yeah. But generally speaking, you're going through a rough time right now, as you were asking about making yeah. that transition as you move into a new country. Yes, you have to open up. Yes, you have to learn as you go and the challenges right. that you go. But mm -hmm. you have to make some sacrifices in life. Yes? But as you make these sacrifices, you know, you're not alone. The whole issue of humility again, um, you know, Bishop Fagan, yes. amazing. There's a verse in the scripture which I really like. Can't remember where it came from. Yeah. But, you know, it talks about um, this treasure mm -hmm. being in earthen vessels, vessels that the excellency of the power mm -hmm. may be of God so, so there's us. some stuff hidden, which yes. is what we said earlier yes. before we go off. It's not about we, us. we were saying that mm. in every person mm. there is some hidden um, potential, potential and talent and, talent and, and dreams. Yes. And okay, mm. one of the things I always said, and I always say mm. that to my husband. We were talking earlier, even with wives and husbands, both parties. Mm. Um, it's a powerful thing when you can support each other. Mm -hmm. You might not be one that like everything about what mm. the other person likes, um, but you support yes. one another. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I've learned over the years as a wife, mm. mother and wife, is that, for instance, I always say, sometimes you might find a man and a woman is married. The woman might have a little more... Mm knowledge a little more education a little more mm -hmm. you know yes. than the husband or vice versa or the vice husband versa. might have a limb mm. i always say whoever has more expertise you know compliment help mm -hmm. mm -hmm. pull up the other one yes and you know i always sometimes people when i go out to minister as a guest speaker you know they'll always introduce me and then they're taken aback in surprise because <laughs> I never goes on mm. without putting on Leroy. Acknowledging, yes. To put on Leroy for him to minister and mm. song. Mm -hmm. Because I, 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 I want him also to get the exposure. Indeed, yes. Whereas sometimes we just want it all for ourselves. Mm. Mm. We, our, our spouse or, or somebody else has a gift mm. or a talent. Somebody need to praise yes, God for this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Somebody else has a gift or a talent. Mm -hmm. But because... It's all about us. We don't want them. We don't want the other person to be seen either. Mm. So we we kind of complement each other. Not competing. Le yeah, yeah, not, not competing. Not competing but and, and this is what's the pro mm. this is the problem mm -hmm. that we have in the body of Christ. Yes. You know, people are so competitive. You know, it, no, it, it's hard for some people to, mm. to 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 make a comment on on what I'm even doing right now. Mm. It's hard for some people to say something mm. because. It's like, it's got to take something from them. Mm -hmm. I try my endeavor best. Somebody said to me the other day, Bishop Fagan, why is it when as you click that button, mm -hmm. so many people are coming on? Why is it that sometimes you might see few people on at the time and when you come off, mm -hmm. you see hundreds of people that were watching? Mm -hmm. I said, you know why? I try my endeavor best mm -hmm. to be a people's person. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, if people come on and they're commenting, I try my best to reply to their comments. Mm -hmm. I try to let them know that I appreciate them. Indeed. Yes. I try to let yes. them know that they are special. Mm -hmm. I try to let them know that I don't take what they're doing for, for granted. granted. Mm. Because do iron that. sharpness iron. So the countenance. Yes. Yes. One iron another. sharpness mm. iron. Mm -hmm. And so there's a word that I wanted to, mm -hmm. to, to leave with someone right now. 
like minister was saying maybe some of you are watching before we go off and you know there's so many of you have already been encouraged mm -hmm. you can go back and review but, but it's not over yet mm -hmm. i just want to say to someone right now looking at me staring me in the eye you got something inside of you as the man of god said what mm -hmm. it is you have in your hand mm -hmm. What it is you have in your hand, we're not talking about physical hands. Mm -hmm. What it is, if you have a business, mm -hmm. if you have if you have a business mm -hmm. and you are a child of God, a Christian, if you work in somewhere, you don't have to go and make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wear a t-shirt saying, I'm born again, I'm saved. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go speaking in tongues like some fanatic. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do stuff like that. Your demeanor, mm. your attitude, your attitude mm. determines your altitude. Good one, yes. Your attitude mm. determines how high you go in life. Yes, yes. Because like you can one. have all mm. the money, mm -hmm. you can have all the degrees, and if you don't have a good attitude, if mm. you don't know how to respect not people, good, not good, not and if good. you don't mm. know how to have manners to people, mm. your money ain't gonna take you there. Mm -mm. Your Degrees ain't gonna take no, you there. No, no. You gotta make sure that you have a good attitude. Mm -hmm. You gotta make sure that you're That's humble. Powerful, That's powerful what we're talking word, about. For humility. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so, mm -hmm. whatever it is that mm -hmm. God has entrusted you with, mm -hmm. be it a job, be it a business, has blessed you with material things, mm -hmm. whatever it is, use everything. Take this from Bishop Fagan. Mm -hmm. Use everything you got. Yes, for his glory. For his glory. Yes, you understand? Mm -hmm. I don't have any college degree mm -hmm. in banking. Mm -hmm. I don't hold no degrees in banking. Yet, my the gift of God, a man's gift. Mm -hmm. So, yet the gift that God mm -hmm. has graced me with. Yes. And the wisdom, the principal thing. God is, I have doors is open for mm -hmm. me wow. to go into banks, mm -hmm. to go into colleges, to go into schools. Not only that, to mm. speak to my managers in wow. seminars, wow. talking about vision. <laughs> That's amazing. Who no, 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 no. Normally, you gotta you gotta hold some masters, <laughs> mm. and you gotta have this, and you gotta have that. That's but a spirit of humility and mm. the favor of That's favor. God on your life That's favor. will open mm. doors for you. Mm. He will bring you before kings right, and queens mm. and princes and princesses, wow, or somebody wow, need wow, to be wow, praising wow, wow, God. Wow, wow. Just be mm. humble. Yes. Don't allow a mm. title. No. Don't allow your position. Mm. Don't allow the car you drive in or the big house. Yes, don't right. allow the job that mm. you don't allow how mega your business is. Don't allow how well mm. you're doing to fly to your head. Mm. Don't allow any of these things because they shall mm. all vanish. All pass away. Mm. They shall all pass mm. away. Mm. You just count your men blessings one by one. Mm. Continue to give God thanks. Because wow. it can take years mm. to get all of this stuff. Lose and in a minute. second, just like that. a fire. Just like that. Are you gone? Mm -hmm. Can't take nothing just like with you. Mm -hmm. Just just be a witness for Jesus Indeed. Christ. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Use everything you got in you, every bit of your every bit of fiber. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters, if you're an unsaved person, you might be listening to me right now. Mm -hmm. And you might be saying, Boy, I didn't know that this Christian thing was so sweet. I'm telling you, you're looking at somebody who was on drugs, alcohol, mm. somebody who tried it all. Mm. You're looking at somebody who used to sleep mm. behind supermarkets. I used to wait until the stores closed. Wow. Mm. And I would go and dig in the garbage pans to mm. find me a piece of bread or mm. a spoiled apple or something. And I would bite off the spoiled rotten part mm. and I would eat the best part. Mm. You know, the, the, the beach was my bathroom. That's where I took a shower. I, I mean, I would mm. stay in the sun and wipe off the white. Mm. I would wipe off the white, when the, you know, the salt. Mm. I mean, when evening come, I didn't have a place to put my head. There were oh, some old oh. derelict vehicles in my grandparents' backyard. Mm. And I would resort to those old cars in the night. Thank God back then it wasn't much raping going on. Mm. Or I would have been raped. But I, I, I'm, I'm showing you and I can mm -hmm. smile now. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people will not talk these kind of things mm -hmm. because they want to act as if that they always had a gold spoon and it was always glamorous and it was always nice. Mm -hmm. Somebody need to praise God. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, you got a lot of preachers mm -hmm. that, you know, after, after they reach 
Come on, talk to me. I Minutes mean, after they reach, they don't want to tell nobody that they the had been through some stuff. The story. You're looking at a woman. <laughs> story. Mm. You're looking at a woman who's wow. been there. So because I've been mm. there, mm -hmm. I can't afford to allow pride. No, no, no. I can't afford no. to allow arrogance mm. to overtake me and bring me back down to worse than where I was. No, you can't do that. No. Come on, talk mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. I'm so it's... mindful of where I'm coming from. A lot of folks even forget where they're coming from. No, you can't do talk that. Talk to it's me. The Lord, it's, it's the Lord's oh doing. It's marvelous in our eyes. But the thing that you're talking about now is your testimony. Your story. Yes? And some... There are many things you won't know, I said before, but one thing you know, that through all the changing scenes of life, Christ has been your constant. My God, constant hallelujah. Friend, this is so encouraging. Companion. Man, you encouraging wow, me. I'm wow, so glad. Wow, this was wow, ordained, you wow, know. Wow, wow, wow. This was ordained before the foundation mm. of the world. Before I was Humility. in my mother's womb and you was in your mm. mother's womb. Mm. Before you was in your mother's womb, mm. God knew that you would be watching this right now. Somebody wow, need to wow. praise God. I sense the atmosphere. Mm. I sense there's such an anointed in somebody's house right now. Yes. I yeah. sense that somebody's just rejoicing. I, I sense a man rejoicing, a woman rejoicing, a brother or sister rejoicing. Because somebody say, my God, I didn't know Bishop Fagan. I heard her talk things before, but it's driving home to me right yes. now. Because there's a lot of you haven't been through quarter what I've been through. Mm. There's many of you have never, you don't know what it is to, to eat out of garbage wow. bins. You don't know what it is to be, um, you know, um, raped by a lesbian. Wow. My virginity. Mm. Was taken by a lesbian, by a woman who said she wanted to adopt me. Wow, wow. And that woman just tore me up. Mm. But am I going to hold on to that mm -hmm. and say, well, I ain't going to preach the gospel? No, no, no. I'm not going to tell nobody what happened to me. There might be somebody watching me right now who has mm. been molested. It might mm. not have been the same thing. Yes. But there might be somebody who was molested by a stepfather. Mm -hmm. There might be somebody watching me right now who's been molested by a cousin, yes. a brother. A close friend of the family, mm -hmm. and they until this day they have not talked about Never it. Talk, yes, and I'm talking about from a child. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not talking about grown now. There's, there's some people right now that will be watching me who, who minister have some things that's happened to them, and until this day they cry over those things. Yes, yes. and they have nobody to share with. That's a very important point you you, you, you touch, and it's so profound. I preached a message some years ago. Um, who minister to the ministers, and one of the things I find very interesting is those who are ministering, whatever sphere you are ministering, it could just be caring, it could be preaching the word, doesn't really matter. You are ministering. You are giving of yourself. But who is ministering to you? And I think this is something that's so crucial that right now you are giving so much and you are sharing and people are pouring back into you. Oh, hallelujah. Are pour, and, and that's something that's very important that people point to you. But one thing I would challenge I'll, 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 I'll give is that for when someone takes you on as a confidant, that you make yourself worthy of the trust, the confidence that's displayed in you. Praise we God. don't use it yeah. to because look get at, back at the man of God. Exactly. Or the woman of God. Or the woman of God. Yes. Because look, at, yes. Because look at even look mm. at even me being on these mm. programs. I'm telling you, uh, Minister, the more the people, mm. many many are on. The more the people that. Mm. Once I come off the air, the motor in boxes, the mm. motor of tears, the motor of calls from the UK, Canada, yes. USA, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, mm. all over. They are motor of calls. Because and, you've been transparent. And, and that see? is between mm. me and them and God. Yes, yes. That's between me and them. If mm. I'm even going to mention something that someone said to me, mm. I ask their permission. Mm. Meaning, not going to call no name, mm. not going to call no country, not going to do anything like that. Mm -hmm. But... If they hear me repeating it, yes. they won't feel bad to say, look at that, I told her that about me and she gone talking. Yes. No, I always show that respect. Listen, your life story might mm. help somebody else. Sure, sure, yes. You're not alone. You're not the only one that's no, going no, through no, this. No, no, or no. you're not the only one going through this. Isn't that how Elijah felt? Exactly. Because when he came off, he said, Father, yeah, just God, get you I'm coming the off the mountain. One. Yes, and that's what I'm talking about, that when you come off your mountain top experience... Yeah, get ready when, for the battles. Yes, get ready for the battles. And sometimes you'll find that there's nobody there for you. But we know that's not true, because you're not the only one. You've been transparent as oh, yeah. way oh, you that's have the, I love that. And that's a risk you take that's a risk to too. open up. Yeah, and because you got some folks that will say, Oh, she was, she, she was molested. Yes, yes. Let, me, let me come closer. Oh, cool. Bishop Fagan was molested mm. by a woman at the age of seven or eight years old. Wow. 
And I mm. really, that's why I know, mm. you know, God allowed that thing to happen to me mm. for a purpose as a living sacrifice. Wow, wow. Because mm. the Holy Spirit just revealed to me for the first time in all these years, 50 mm. odd years, mm. the Holy Spirit just said to me, Mm. That the reason why that happened to me is to show people that they have a choice. Mm. Because I could have become a lesbian too. Mm -hmm. Because of that spirit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that, was, that was there. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I had a choice yes. when I became of that age. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. And so mm -hmm. sometimes in life, mm -hmm. things will happen to you mm -hmm. that God may get the glory mm -hmm. and the praise. Don't be bitter. Mm. Don't be angry. You know, let it go. Let them go. Mm -hmm. We're going to be closing shortly, but we got to land it right. Remember, mm. we walk by faith not by and not by not sight. By sight yep. And mm. if God be for you, no, no one, one can be, be against, against you. you. Yes. And if God call you to it, mm. he will take you through, through it. it. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Wow, that's heavy stuff. If God yes. called you to it, mm. relax. He'll take you he'll through, take it. You through and it. And furthermore, he is able to take your scars and turn them into stars. Your stumbling blocks into stepping stones, your impediments wow, this into is good. Go implements. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Right, He's right, able right. to do a great Your mess mighty, into your a mess message. Into a message. Look yes. at my mess. Yes. I mean, I it everywhere. A, a mess, yeah, and I, I'm telling you, I preach this message everywhere yes. I go. I tell mm. people, listen, when you see people mm. rejoicing, when you see people being blessed, mm. don't envy them. Don't don't be jealous. Mm. You know, if you can if you can compliment them, yes. if you can be happy for them, like what, be mm. do it. Because mm. you don't know what a person the story. went through. Mm. Yes. You don't know what they've been through to reach where they are. Mm -hmm. You just don't know. There's a lot of people couldn't handle what I handle, you know. Mm. You know, with the I mean, if it was like this day and age, the mm. suicide, I could, could have, I could have mm. committed suicide as a little girl. The Lord never gives any you, you more understand? than we can do. I could have committed suicide, mm. being molested, mm. I mean, mm. you know, by a female, mm. I mean, mm. being cast aside, being ostracized, mm. don't know who your father is. Wow. You know, I don't know who my father is, wow. don't know who your father is. Mm. You know, nobody came to your table and said, I'm your father. You know, drop a school dropout, mm. and now you now now here it is now you you're doctor of divinity, here it is now you're um you're a lot of people don't know but here it is I hold my degree as a professor mm. of systemic theology wow. to God. Be Isn't that amazing? And wow. I don't go around flaunting mm. myself. I I say Lord, mm -hmm. had it not been for you, it's amazing. Yes. I would not yes. be. Who I am mm. and where I am. That's a blessing. That's and, a and, blessing. I, and I'm telling mm. you one of That's the things blessing. that I found out over the years mm. in life and in ministry especially. The more that you try your best. Mm. Let me tell you something. Can I say something? Can I say it? It's not easy to be humble, you know. <laughs> it's not easy to be humble. It takes a lot of struggle, yes. you know. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. takes a lot of struggle. To remember especially when from. God blessing you. Mm -hmm. Especially when you got a couple of little things and you're yes. driving a nice car and you're living mm -hmm. in a big house. Your ministry growing and mm -hmm. your business expanding. And yes. you know, you're, you're opening up branches and you're opening up stores. And mm -hmm. you come out and talk to some of you. You know, things happening Indeed, for you. Yes. You're getting promotion on the mm. job. You know, you, you you start out as a little clean of the floor mm. and now you're the supervisor. Mm. Wow. Man, I tell you, make you want to step on people. Mm -hmm. Make you want to act like you're better than them. Yes, yes. You know, being mm. humble is not easy. Not easy. Mm. But I'm telling you, if you humble yourself under the under, under the yes. mighty hands of God, yes, he will, he will exalt, exalt you, you in due time. In yes, due time. Due time. Mm. So in other words, then you got you gotta be determined that you gotta remember where you're coming from. At all times. You gotta be determined mm. that listen, anytime that little pride won't come in, mm. anytime that little show offness and arrogance won't come in, cut it right the back down right mm. and say, remember where you're coming from? <laughs> Remember how you used to be behind those mm, supermarkets? Yes. Remember how it used to be? Mm. Remember you didn't have anything? Yeah, and remember. the important thing is just by even telling your story. Remember. Now, of and, course. And, and remember also you didn't have no shoes. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people don't want to rem say that they used things. to go bare feet. Mm -hmm. But I tell you one thing, I didn't used to go bare feet. I used to go barefoot. 
<laughs> you understand? I mean, I old clothes. I mean, uh, tear my hair wasn't combed for weeks, not those days, days those weeks. Days, those days. And I remember all those things, and God had a plan for my life. Hallelujah. He's faithful, isn't it? No, God That's had so a plan for my life. Mm. Every one of you. Mm. Mm. All that you're going through. Maybe God's trying to get your attention. Mm. That's another thing mm. too. Maybe mm. God is trying to get your attention. Mm. Maybe you're, you're faking it. Like you're giving God your attention. But maybe he's truly trying to get you to the next level. Mm. Maybe he's really trying to bless you. But you're holding back your blessing because of your unforgiveness. Mm. Come on. Yes. Unforgiveness mm. is, a, is, a, is like a cancer. It's not good, no. And that will block all the blessings of mm. the Lord in your mm. life. You know, some people harboring unforgiveness, bitterness, mm. anger. You know, and, 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 it, and, yourself, and yeah, you're hurting yourself, yourself and, 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 you know, different things like mm. that. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. Please remember me and my family in your prayers. Definitely. Definitely, mm. feel free to inbox me. Yes. Any of you that want to inbox me, I will surely pass it on to Minister because he's been a source of strength and encouragement. Minister Philip O'Connor here in the UK. Praise the Lord. Before we go, I want to mm. leave this word with someone. Yes. You know, we're talking about a living faith. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about no dead faith. We're talking about a living faith. And it says in James 2.17, mm. In the same way, faith by itself, mm. if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Mm. dead. We know faith without works. Mm -hmm. Faith without action is dead. There's a lot of people that, you know, they say they have faith, but they don't trust God. Mm. Okay, before we close, what would you say to someone right now watching mm. who might be sick? Somebody's ministry who might be severed because mm. we have been through it. Our ministry has been severed. We could have been holding bitterness. We could have been holding unforgiveness. Mm. We could have been holding so much anger. We've lost so much. Mm. We've lost ministries. Not ministry. Wow. Ministries. You understand? And, you know, in, in, in that time, mm. at that moment, you're angry. You're very, very angry. You're bitter. You're, you're disappointed. You feel betrayed. You mm. feel used. But... Then you get, you take a grip of yourself and you tell yourself life goes on. Mm. And when you release that anger and bitterness, you find that the blessing. Because mm. we that have peace. ministries now that God has blessed us with mm. that, is, that could triple wow. what we had what before. Mm. What wonderful. we had before. Mm. <laughs> so that's another testimony. Mm. Mm. Sometimes God... God don't do these things, but he will allow Hello. the enemy, like with Job, mm -hmm. he will allow some things to happen to mm -hmm. us to test our faith. Indeed. Mm -hmm. To test our faith. God may be allowing you to go through that thing mm -hmm. to test your faith. To see how faithful you are to him. Yes. Were you faithful to him or mm -hmm. to that? Mm -hmm. That's powerful wow, that's right powerful. there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who is problem? it you put your trust in? Mm -hmm. Or what it is you put your trust in? Is purpose? it God? Mm -hmm. Who is your source? Mm -hmm. Is, was it mm -hmm. that your source? Was she your source? He your source? That job your source? Wow. That your bank account wow. your source? That yes. house your source? That whatever your source? So those people your source? That's or heavy. is it God is your source? That's heavy right there. That is very, very profound. Mm. Very profound. If God is the source, then that will give the sense of purpose and direction. That's the core. That's the underpinning. And we make sure that our Faith is in God and not in things. Yeah, or, in, Bible, or in human beings, or in, or in human men. Yeah. Pe people will fail. And I, I find it so interesting. Even the story, the case of Jesus, even in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yes. And those who be poured into and give oh. so much of himself. But in his moment of need, when he was they couldn't even agonizing, step with him one hour. you couldn't watch with me one hour. And what I find most um, interesting was when the Bible says that worn out by their grief that they fell asleep. And I'm thinking, couldn't you watch with him after all he has poured into you that your grief took such prominent position that you couldn't share his suffering? Yes, yeah, so you what, you're, what you're saying is that mm. sometimes you put your all out. You mm. pour out your all for others. Mm -hmm. And mm. when you go Indeed. through your stuff, I mean, we're talking in layman's term now. Indeed. When you go yes, through your yes. stuff, when you need somebody to mm, be there be for you, there for you way, or mm, encourage you or understand you, you. <laughs> it, it's a thing. And it happens to the best of us. Yes. Because, yes. you know, mm. leaders go through it. Mm. As you said, mm. who ministers to the minute? Who, who minister. ministers to the ministers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who who is there? Mm -hmm. who, who is there for 
the pastor, the bishop, mm -hmm. the prophet, the prophetess, the, the leaders, the mm -hmm. apostles, mm -hmm. um, who constantly have to prepare. Yes. We have Give to prepare. So um, well, mm -hmm. we know there's some people that just don't prepare and they don't pray. Mm -hmm. But there are some of us who really, really see God face for a word. Mm -hmm depending on the anointing yes. to destroy the yokes. Mm -hmm. But there's times when we go through our stuff because mm -hmm. there's times that I find myself down in the valley mm -hmm. and wow. I thank God that Leroy mm -hmm. is there. Mm -hmm. there's, because if two of us good, find ourselves down in the valley, same time, mm -hmm. doggy, that was some no, That's not good. <laughs> They're not good if two of us find ourselves. No, neither no, one no. can I have neither mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. But there's not times good. Lee is... I can tell when he's a little low. Mm. He can always tell when I'm a little low. Mm -hmm. And he can always mm. and he can always just you know, encourage. we encourage one mm. another. Mm. You understand? So mm. remember to keep us in your prayers. Go ahead and send up your loves, your like if you have been mm. encouraged. Yes. You know, praise the Lord. Thank God for all of you. I, I, I pray and trust that these few words for mm. those of you that are still on and many were on before. I thank God for these few words. You know, it might not have been the thunder and the storm. It mm. might not have been the loud music. Praise the Lord. You know, it might not have been anything like that. But mm. I know, but I know, praise God, it's, that's, that you all have been blessed. Praise mm. the Lord. And I want to thank God for all of you. We're going to ask, I'm going to ask you to make sure that you share. Yeah, mm. before I come off, make sure that you share with as many as you can. Mm. Because sometimes this is the way God wanted, mm. wanted to come. Sometimes this is the way he wants to speak to us. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not always in the music and the this and the that. Mm -hmm. You know, he maybe something Minister Philip O'Connor said mm -hmm. would be an inspiration to you. Mm -hmm. Maybe something I said would mm -hmm. be an upliftment to you. So listen to it over. Mm -hmm. If you're just coming on, listen to it over. Share it. Mm -hmm. You know, leave your comments. Iron sharpness iron. Mm -hmm. You understand? Compliments, you know, one, uh, one knife. Can't sharpen mm -hmm. the knife. It takes takes the friction mm -hmm. to sharpen. Iron sharpening. You all sharpens me, whether you know it or not. Every time you send up your loves, send up your hearts, every time you leave a comment, every time that you share, you're saying, Bishop, I'm helping you to spread this gospel. Mm -hmm. You understand? I'm helping you to, to, to prolong. Because mm -hmm. there's people that you know mm -hmm. you'll be able to reach. Mm -hmm. that we'll never be yeah, able true, to reach. True. So use what you have in your hand, even if it's a video, even if it's a recorded video, mm -hmm. use it. God knew mm -hmm. exactly why you clicked that button. Yes. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just you did that, mm -hmm. but God know there is somebody that you know that might know somebody that might know somebody that this needs to reach. Mm -hmm. If it's even somebody who's been molested, if it's even somebody who's going through something right now, if it's even somebody who need to know that don't put your trust in any human being or things, that God is your source mm. and he will provide. I just want to say it's been an honor and a privilege of mine. Don't touch that button. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for sharing, guys. Mm. I see you sharing. Thank you. Thank you. I love you so much. And Jesus loves you. Mm. If you're on and you're a backslider, mm. if you're a sinner, you're unsaved. We would never come off without giving just Jesus loves you. Mm. You might be a drugs. You might be an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. You might be a prostitute. Mm -hmm. You might be a homosexual, a lesbian. We are not here mm -hmm. condemning and judging you. We know what the Bible says mm -hmm. we do. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But we're here to warn you. We're here to encourage you. Mm -hmm. We're here to tell you that salvation is still flowing. Mm -hmm. And it's not too late for you to accept Jesus Christ. As your personal Lord and Savior, you wanted to say yeah, something and we're going to be going off. The essence of a deep and personal relationship with Christ just cannot be underestimated. I just want to really encourage you, whatever your situation may be, as Bishop has said, just continue to trust God. You may not have come to that place of faith yet. You may still be going through that experience and that process. Because for some it will be a process of as course. we work out it's our a process. salvation. Certification is a process. It is a, we work out that with fear and trembling. And even if you have been, you're saved, but you're going through a situation yes, and you're still up. working through to find meaning and purpose. And some things you may never understand this side of wow, eternity. This is so powerful. You may never quite understand. But one thing you know that God is faithful. One thing you know, once I was blind, but now I see. So as Bishop shared her story, you have your story, I have my story. 
and our stories as we share them and open ourselves up, they encourage others. Right. So whatever is happening in your life right now, that can and will be a testimony to right. encourage others. Right. So never you give up or undermine or underestimate the power of your personal testimony because God can and he will certainly use it to bless others and to minister to others and to encourage your own heart in Praise your situation. The Lord. Hallelujah. That's a powerful testimony you have there. God bless you mm. all. God bless you. Go ahead and leave your comments. Even after, just go ahead. It's been a great mm. honor and privilege. Mm. I'm going to be posting um, the, the addresses of the churches that I'll be ministering in. in depending on when you're watching this, um, mm. we're going, I'm going to be posting where I am. But I know I'll be where in Totten. Um, You'll be in Tottenham, Seven Sisters in North London. Yes. I think that's on the 14th of May. I right. I think it will be get some more information for right. you. And then I think it is 21st of May. We'll confirm these dates and times at the World Fellowship Church of God in Dalston, um, near Stoke Newington, again in North London. So, um, yeah, to, and more invitations coming in. We mm. give God yes. thanks. That's God bless you. Until <laughs> next time, this Thank has you so been much. your host. Praise God, uh, Bishop Dr. Juliet Fagan, same yes. Apostle Fagan, Vision Miracle Churches of God Evangelistic Association. Praise the Lord. If you need to inbox me, praise God, with your testimonies, your victory reports, you know, post some here, whatever it is. Just let the Lord have his way in your life. God bless you. I'll be back on another time. God bless. Shalom. Thank you. God Thank bless. you. Yes.